Lieutenant Michelle King. <laughs> I'm Chief Council Member Paul Clerks. <laughs> I'm Chief Board Member Nuri Martinez. Steve Zimmer. We'd also like to recognize the number of principals that are here today. Elizabeth Bromowitz, Fairburn Elementary. Constituency 
that will fight for public education reform here on the west side at Tepo Isaiah, a political constituency that can join with us in South LA so that we can create a positive change for all Los Angeles. And so we're here today to lift up what we have in common. We're all worried about our children. I grew up in New Jersey in a township called Bridgewater. My elementary school was just around the block. And in sixth grade, I took a school bus to the local, el to the local middle school with children from seven other <coughs> elementary schools, four from my township of Bridgewater and three from Raritan. And I thought this was very exciting, but I only stayed one year. In seventh grade, my parents enrolled me in private school. And when I asked them why years later, my mother said, it was a big school. Not everyone was from our neighborhood. We didn't know the other kids. We didn't know their parents. And maybe it was just hearsay. We never really explored those rumors, but we were worried about you. This is a story told on the west side. It's a story told throughout this city, from Los Angeles to New Jersey. We're worried about our children. But as we indulge our fears and insecurities, as we move away from the schools, we are still unsettled and we are still fearful because we live in disengaged, isolated communities. Because we see deep divides between ourselves and our neighbors, not just on the west side, but throughout the city. So we are here today to overcome the urge to indulge in those fears and in those insecurities, especially around our schools, and to invest in the relationships that will build up the trust and the confidence so that we can act together on behalf of our children. I believe, as adults, we all do what we think is best for our children. As teachers and administrators, we all got into the system of education to work with colleagues to make schools great places for children. It is not always an easy thing to accomplish. Schools can get down, bogged down by the bureaucracy and the collective bargaining agreement. Teachers can get overwhelmed by demands for testing, district policy, school reforms, student needs, budget cuts, dwindling resources, job actions. Sometimes it's easier to just shut the door and teach. Building a relation, a relational school requires a lot of purposeful work. The first step is for our leaders to understand their own stories and how to share it with others. Imagine my surprise when I first came to understand, by telling my own story, that I became a teacher not because of some love of learning, but because as a student, I truly hated school. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get out. Greatest moment of my life for everyone from high school. Through conversations about my story, I discovered that I never felt like I had the talent or intelligence to be a schoolboy. At that time, we were trapped. I was a shop boy, not a schoolboy. I had wood shop, print shop, metal shop, auto shop, agriculture. I'm still a gardener. <laughs> So my story is one of becoming a teacher to fiercely defend all of our children's rights to have their intelligence and talents recognized and have an opportunity for an excellent education. Today we will hear stories from our leaders about how our students are being affected by the system here on the West Side in Emerson and Temple Isaiah neighborhood. We're here today to address these kinds of challenges and to find some winnable solutions. Let's not be timid. There is a serious crisis in education. It's about money. It's about competing agendas. But our work today is about breaking down the larger challenges of budget and classroom size and finding winnable strategies. This is why we've come together. Today is a first step in working together. It's a first step. And it's a powerful step that shows us acting intentionally and powerfully and effectively. And each time we act together, we build our capacity to address those larger challenges. These are slow, patient steps. There is no quick fix. There is no magic solution that will solve all of our problems. The words above me read, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof. In Hebrew, that means justice, justice, you shall pursue, from the book of Deuteronomy. The pursuit of justice is a slow, patient, relational process. It takes time. And the vision that it is possible, 
We are here today because we believe it is possible. So let's hear some stories about what's happening in schools on the west side to strengthen that possibility for us. 